Hey everyone on YouTube, so it's Sean. Uh, just wanna make another video talking today about decision making. So, uh, a couple of weeks ago when I first ruptured my Achilles, I had to make a decision. Do I get surgery or what do I do? Like I figured I had to get surgery, but I went to an orthopedic who said, actually you got two options. You got the surgical option and you got the non-surgical option. It's up to you. And I'm like, I mean, which way should I go? You're the surgeon. He was like, Pros and cons to both. Pros and cons to both. It's up to you. I'm like, what? Like, give me something. And so I was like, okay, based upon your pros and cons, I'm going to go with not surgery. And he was like, okay. And I'm like, I guess I made the right decision. I don't know. And so I go back to my friends who I work out with. And I tell them, hey, I don't have to get surgery. And everyone's like, are you sure? Like, maybe you should get a second opinion. And at first I'm like, why get a second opinion? Like, I don't want to get surgery, like it's expensive, you know, there's risks, and I mean, this guy is a qualified surgeon, and he said I don't have to have it, so why get a second opinion? But I decided to get a second opinion, and the second guy, he was like, oh, you definitely should have surgery, like it's a no-brainer, like as young as you are, definitely get surgery, and I'm like, I don't know who to believe, like, this guy might just want to make a buck, like what, do I let him open me up? And so I prayed a lot, and it was God, seeking God, and God did not give me a clear like yes or no. Um, you know, I, I prayed about it and I listened to his voice, but I couldn't hear anything in specifically that he was telling me. I opened up my Bible and said, God, give me some wisdom on how to make a decision. And I just for some reason opened up to the book of Acts. I was like, the early church had to make some decisions without Jesus, so how did they do it? And so I, I read Acts chapter one where they have to make a decision of who they're going to replace after Judas is gone. And uh, if you we can read the story and, you know, what do they do? They pray and then they cast lots. It's like, let's just roll the die. Yeah, Sean, just flip a coin. Heads or tails. Get surgery, don't get surgery. Easy as that. That's what I felt like. And, you know, after consulting several people, asking people, hey, what do you think I should do? Should I get the surgery or not? Um, I said, I think I should get surgery. I think I should get surgery. I mean, because I've not met anybody. I've not met anybody who was ruptured, completely torn their Achilles tendon and didn't get surgery. It's just standard practice. I was like, I think it's probably the wisest thing that I should do. Once I made that decision, I met a friend uh, who I told, okay, what was wrong with my foot while I was in a big boot? And he was like, oh, I'm so sorry, man. My cousin, my cousin rip ruptured his uh, Achilles tendon a few years ago and, um, yeah, he didn't have to get surgery. It was crazy. He didn't have to get surgery. I'm like, just after I made the decision that I'm not going to, that I am going to get surgery, I finally meet somebody or am connected with somebody who didn't get the surgery. And then my friend goes, and poor kid can't walk today. I'm like, he's like, yeah, it didn't heal on its own. I'm like, what? I'm like, oh, well, thank you for sharing because that is super helpful actually because I've been debating whether to get it or not and thinking maybe it'll heal on its own but and he's like oh you should definitely get the surgery so I was like okay thank you maybe that's confirmation from the Lord I don't know now I share that to, to just encourage you hey when you're making a decision you've got a tough decision to make don't make it on your own don't feel like you're the only one who's able to kind of bring wisdom to the situation the Bible says that there's wisdom in many counselors and so sometimes we, we get into a situation and, and we think we have all the facts and we think we're seeing things right, but based upon the decision, we could be emotionally invested into some decision that's going to skew our judgment. Um, and, and so inviting other people into that decision might not just bring, it will bring probably some other experience and other perspective, but it might also just bring somebody who's not as emotionally tied to the decision uh, and is able to give a little bit more of an objective opinion. Like a couple days ago when I was, you know, recovering from the surgery, I started feeling pain and awkwardness and all this stuff all over my body and pain underneath my armpit. And I felt like my heart was doing all this crazy stuff. And I was getting you know, constipated. So I was feeling like pain in my stomach and all this stuff. And so I called up my mom. I'm like, mom, I don't know what's going on. Like, I got this pain here. I'm, I've got a headache. I, I've got this pain here. It's like, I go on WebMD and it's like, I got cancer and all this other stuff that I got to worry about now. I'm thinking, oh, I just had a heart attack. And my mom's like, well, you know, all those things. Okay, so I think, you know, maybe that pain underneath your armpit. Okay, I think it could just be maybe from the crutches that you maybe have to balance on a little too much that, you know, when you're trying to get up the stairs and, you know, you know the, the, the pain here, you know, it's probably a side effect of the narcotics that you've been on or the opi opioids that you've been on. And so, you know, just give it a couple of days. Just give it a couple of days and see if things change. 
Um, and if they don't, you know, then we can, you know, figure out what's next. Maybe we have to go to the emergency room. But gave it a day and I was fine. You know, the pains went away. Everything was good. And my mom had a different perspective for me, even though she usually, you know, is very, very concerned about her son. She was like, let's think about this a little bit more objectively, Sean. You probably aren't dying. At your age, these things that you think might be a problem probably aren't an issue. Um, probably just need to give it a little time to work through your body. And she was right. Um, so my encouragement to you today is when you have a decision to make, um, especially, you know, a big consequential decision, um, don't make it all on yourself, uh, on your own. Invite some other people, tell them what's going on, help them or give them permission to give you some counsel um, so that you know, okay, hey, I'm not just making this decision based upon how I feel in my heart. Uh, but I'm making that decision with some facts that I know is true in my head, but also inviting other people to gain their perspective. Um, and, and they're able to help me make a decision, not just based upon emotions and kind of the things that are happening that I'm in the midst of, but make a decision um, that's maybe a little more rational um, and helpful for the long term.